Morning everybody, it's 9 o'clock and 9 o'clock is with me, Father Warner. We are in Tuesday of the 5th week of Easter. Our text today is taken from Acts chapter 14 verses 19 to 28. Let me read the text with you. But the Jews came there from Antioch and Iconium and won over the crowds. And they stoned Paul and dragged him out and dragging him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples surrounded him, he got up and went into the city. The next day he went on with Barnabas to Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra and then to Iconium and to Antioch. There they strengthened the souls of the disciples and encouraged them to continue in the faith, saying, it is through many persecutions that we must enter the kingdom of God. And after they had appointed elders for them in each church with prayer and fasting, they entrusted them to the Lord in whom they had come to believe. Then they passed through Pisidia and came to Pamphylia. When they had spoken the word in Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed back to Antioch where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they, that they had completed. When they arrived, they called the church together and related all that God had done with them and how he had opened a door of faith for the Gentiles. And they stayed there with the disciples for some time. The word of the Lord. Now, in my teachings with you, I have... Uh, woefully declared many times that people, and very sadly so, are more enchanted with cult than with faith. And remember that cult is a product of faith. I need to have faith in order for me to express that faith in some way, in some cultic way. Unfortunately, very often, we have forgotten the faith and we are enamored with the ceremony, the cult. Okay, So, we are more bothered with changes in the cult than what is happening in our hearts. Now, I understand why people are very touchy about cult. Cult is tangible. You can see it. You can touch it. You can f feel it. So, we unwittingly, as I said, give it more importance than the truth of faith, which is the reason for cult. How do I connect it to today's teaching? The people of Lystra were so enamored by a single miracle work by Paul and Barnabas that they saw them, as we heard in yesterday's teaching, they saw them as gods. Now, gods in small g. And now they wanted to sacrifice an oxen so they've garlanded this oxen before the slaughter and are ready to sacrifice them. Paul and Barnabas want to have none of this. And they prefer to profess the truth. Ironically, there seems to be no one that is now enamored by Paul and Barnabas. Why? They'd rather have the cult. They'd rather have the ox slaughtered than the truth of the message that God wants the Gentiles to be changed. So, no sooner do the Jewish detractors of Paul arrive from Antioch and Iconium with their perverse thoughts than the people of Lystra now, who were ready to garland an, an oxen and sacrifice it for Paul and Barnabas, who they saw as Hermes and Zion, uh, Zeus, now they no longer, these same people who wanted to do all of this yesterday, no longer see the truth of Paul's words. And they choose to stone the very man that a few lines ahead in our text in chapter 14, they hailed as a god. Just a few hours ago, they hailed him as a god. Now the people of Antioch come, they poison the minds of these people. These people also say, oh, no cult, no, no sacrifice, stone the man. We don't want to hear your message. We'd rather have our ceremonies than we'd have the truth of God. Paul, as we know, and from today's text, does not die. 
instead he heads for Derby. Derby is a border town uh, in the southeastern part of the Lyconian region of Galatia. Uh, go back to my teaching of yesterday and I will explain uh, where I have explained um, what, where is Galatia and St. Paul's letter to the Galatians. It is linked more to uh, Ankara, the modern day uh, capital of Turkey rather than Lystra, Lystra and Derby and Iconium which was South Galatia. Okay, but you go to that teaching and I have explained that of yesterday. Now, one would think that Paul wants literally to beg for trouble and I have said this very often in the Acts of the Apostles. Paul seems to beg for trouble. Why? Because now he traces his footsteps back to the very towns he was stoned. He traces his steps back to the very towns from which he was chased out of. So we are told in today's text, he goes from Derby to Lystra to Iconium and to Antioch. And as they go, they continue to make disciples and through words of encouragement, we are told in today's text, they strengthen the spirit of the disciples who also, after Paul and Barnabas left their towns, must have had to face much ridicule and suffering when Paul left them um, to carry on with his mission and often left them uh, at risk to their own lives because now he's moved on and they continue to believe in God and people would have ridiculed them. Now Paul is drawing to, cl to a close what we would call the first uh, mission missionary journey. So we see the end of the first missionary journey. There will be three journeys that Paul will make. We are coming to the end of the first one. Now I want you to admire these early Christians who never gave up the faith. Even in the face of tremendous hardships which Paul acknowledged when he said it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. Paul's faith does not merely float in some unrealistic world. He knows that it must be, this faith must be rooted in earthly structures. And with this in mind he recognizes the need for continuity and as we will see he will appoint precipitors, a word that best translates as elders. Now interestingly, the choice of elders was not some popularity contest determined by the counting of votes. For we know the elders were chosen after prayer and after fasting. So thought must be given to the process of prayer even today when councils are elected rather than selected. While today we are more inclined to electing bodies in the church in a spirit of fairness and freedom of choice, not all though are elected, uh, we must also learn to be submissive to the promptings of the Holy Spirit in such a choice. Paul and Barnabas now head back to Antioch from where this journey first began. They travelled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia and after proclaiming the word we are told in Perga, they went down to the port city of Atalia from where they sailed to Antioch. It is to this church in Antioch that they present a report of the missionary journey. They present it, they say, guys we want to tell you all that we did on this first missionary journey. The reporting was not about what they did. The reporting was not about, look at our achievements. What is the reporting about? And we are told what God had done with them and how God had opened the doors of faith to the Gentiles. The focus of the first missionary journey of Paul and Barnabas had always been the Lord. The focus was never about themselves. And you must have heard me speak of this topic uh, last week and also this week. It doesn't change. The focus in the early church was not about who the priest is, who is the main preacher, how good is the choir, how good is the council, how good is the association. It was always how good is the Lord. They in the early church had often, um, they had to often resist the demands of people who would have crowned them gods as we saw in yesterday's teaching. Paul and Barnabas were very very clear. It is not the messenger but the message that must take center stage. 
yesterday's um, uh, in the the psalm of yesterday's first reading was so beautiful not to us lord but to you we give the glory they gave the lord all the glory yet they willingly took the shame for the first missionary journey saw also we saw in the first missionary journey we saw disagreements disagreements between paul and john mark we saw how the apostles were chased out of synagogues they were chased out of cities we heard in the first missionary journey how paul was stoned at lystra and had to deal with a very long arduous journey on foot and by ship over several nations but such was a faith without falter and i want you to think of that line is my faith also without falter or am i always faltering in my faith especially when things go wrong i want to pray with you today so let us pray father the son and the holy spirit amen we come into your loving presence o lord as we study your word listening to the acts of the apostles lord so often in my own life my faith falters especially when hardships come my way but as i listen to the narration of paul and barnabas their first journey to preach the good news i hear just struggle and suffering but not from the words of paul and barnabas these are my thoughts they just smiled for joyful happy and they continued they didn't grumble about the journey they didn't grumble about where they stayed they didn't grumble about whether they were received well or stoned or tried or beaten they just carried on because they were in love with you and when i think of my own faith lord i grumble even to pray to spend time with you i so often postpone my study of your word i satisfy myself with a quick night prayer sometimes even that i don't do lord increase our faith increase our devotion increase our love for you we make this prayer in your loving name as we lift up all those who serve your church faithfully and devotedly bringing joy bringing happiness continue to bless them lord bless all our viewers thank you for their love their dedication their faith in you nourish their souls nourish their hearts take care of them today especially today if a storm should come into their life may they feel your presence may they continue to believe may they give you the glory in your loving in your precious name i make this prayer amen the lord be with you and may almighty god bless you all the father son the holy spirit amen i want to thank you uh, my dear donors those of you who have contributed today to the love joy hope foundation for children uh, if any of you want to reach out and sponsor a meal uh, send me a whatsapp message on 9820242151 and i'll send you the details of the love joy hope foundation and they will take it off from there thank you also to those who uh, support this ministry um i'm grateful for your help i know some of you send us a contribution for the year some send it every month um if you can support this ministry i uh, i'm not sure where this is going i began this ministry out of necessity because of covid and i must confess there are many times i want to stop i know each time i stop the live masses people are upset but i uh, i have stopped that because i want people to go back to church i don't want to turn this into you know a convenience of sorts and i'm not judging people uh, but i felt this strongly in my heart and uh, i allow the lord to speak to my heart but i've continued with the teaching and i i wish god gave me more time uh, 
to study more and it's been the desire of my heart but I have a plan and I, I want to do something I, I it's in my head uh, the Lord now has to lead me and guide me so thank you everybody uh, for your support for this ministry the number is the same send me a whatsapp message uh, I want to also say to you that the number that I give you uh, is the uh, is a number that uh, my staff have complete access to in fact my phones are never with me they're with my staff so in case you ever send a message that is meant for me begin with the words for the attention of father Warner only and then of course they don't read the message it shows up on the first line and then they uh, give it to me um, so please my appeal is send do not send thank you messages and good morning messages it, it's uh, I, I understand if it's coming from your heart let it be a heartfelt message uh, if not uh, this consumes a lot of time but I, I know you are understanding uh, of what I just said it's not to hurt anybody uh, it's just that um, I think uh, poor Ryan has to go through some uh, 400 or 500 such messages from morning uh, to evening and uh, the poor chap keeps going delete 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 but he draws my attention to any of the messages that require my uh, my my attention and I do that towards the either the end of the day or I do it early in the morning uh, when I wake up at 3.30. So thank you everybody for your love, for your support and once again I'm happy to be back in India.